astonishing things. And in a way, he's a person that I'm astonished to find myself having this conversation with. I've never had a conversation quite like it. I believe you're going to love it. Because what I want you to consider is that Alex Jones was one of the first people in this space, one of the first people that you'd have heard publicly saying there's a globalist agenda, you can't trust the establishment. Like, so many of Alex Jones's ideas have entered into the mainstream. He's a brilliant person to talk to. He's an extraordinary man. He's very difficult to corral and control. He's the host of Infowars. He's a, got the author of a new book called The Great Awakening, Defeating the Globalists and Launching the Next Great Renaissance. The link for that is in the description. We talk about predictions that Alex has made that have come true, and you'll be surprised by that. We talk as well about independent voices being targeted, like Joe Rogan, Alex himself, Tucker, and... Obviously, myself. We talk about predictive dreams, prophecies, mysticism, spirituality, glo globalist agenda, black rock, vanguard, current problems and spiritual solutions. I ask Alex if he's ever thought about ending his own life and if he's ever wondered if he's mentally ill. God, love, the devil, heaven, hell. Have a look at just a few of the highlights. You're telling me it isn't real when they had a f***ing vote in the goddamn... Senate. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Ah! Ah! I wonder if you ever feel fracture and crisis within yourself. I wonder if you've ever felt hopeless and desperate. God touched me and, and, and said, you really want to be evil? And I had a lot of really intense uh, nightmares and just a feeling of, of, of being alone. But this and that is going to happen, and you're going to go through a lot of pain to do it, but you're going to help trigger the Great Awakening. Ah! Ah! Piles of manipulative lying crap! You cowards! Excuse me. What do we do about the people that hear the name Alex Jones and then just think, oh, you know, Sandy Hook? I can't imagine it's very easy to be you. I didn't say that the name Sandy Hook for over two years before I was sued. Do you feel that you arm your detractors by your mystical conjecture? Or is that something you're deliberately doing in spite of the fact that it obviously enables people to attack you? They were all obsessed with mysticism. They were all obsessed with the occult, the CIA, MI6. But this is why the CIA and the Justice Department used me as the first domino. We're gonna get Assange and Jones. Once we get them, all the other dominoes will fall. That was six months before I got uh, the platform five years ago. What are we going to do? There is so much power that can be asserted through legacy media. There is so much power of censorship. There is such a strong will to shut down dissent. You see it because we have nothing to hide. Move your angle, relax your perspective, pull back, open your mind. I wonder if you've ever been concerned that you are mentally ill. We planned to have 15 minutes at the top of this conversation that we'd be able to stream everywhere, but this is Alex Jones and it's just impossible. In this conversation, you'll see Alex Jones like you've never seen him before. This is a conversation you do not want to miss. These conversations we stream live, so if you want to become a supporter of our channel, join us on Locals by pressing the red button. You get access to a variety of things, including advanced interviews like this. Now. As I say, none of this could be put on YouTube. So if you want to see the conversation with Alex, please join us over on Rumble now. Click the link in the description. Join us over on Rumble for a conversation that's blown my mind. I'm still descending from where I was sent to by that conversation.